Here we go, baby. I left Stahican. My final resupply before reaching the Canadian border. I should arrive there three days after today. Final stretch before I go back to NorCal and do all those other miles. Stahican is a place of serene beauty, separate from that of this world. Gosh, it is such a unique place. And I really want to go back there. It was hard to leave. My pack is incredibly heavy. This might be the most food I've ever carried, which is a good thing, because I need it. Um, I don't feel too rejuvenated or rested, but felt great to sleep in this morning. Uh, not doing too many miles today, which is good. And then I'll wake up tomorrow morning and it's on. Push for the border. One important note, there are wildfires both east and west of the PCT up near the border. So I'm also hoping that those don't get too close to the trail. I'd hate to be stopped after coming all this way. This could also affect the logistics of us uh, returning to some kind of big town, city after, ideally Seattle. Um, there could be some highway closures that may also throw us a curveball. But I just want to get to Canada. I don't care what happens after. You know, I'm feeling pretty good now. I've had so many calories today. I've eaten so much food. Even breakfast alone was over 3,000 calories today. I had two Jimmy John breakfast sandwiches and a bag of Hostess, chocolate Hostess donuts. Um, that bag was like five servings and I had a coffee. And then for lunch I had like almost a foot long Cubano sandwich with macaroni salad, a Coke, and a beer. And then we went to Steak and Bakery and I got a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. I ate that. I still have the cinnamon roll packed away. Probably eat that for breakfast. Um, and 
I just stopped a little bit ago and had dinner because we found out there's actually only two campsites that we're allowed to camp at since we're in a national park. One of them was five miles from the trailhead, which we've passed. The other one is uh, a little over 11 miles from the trailhead. So uh, we were gonna camp at about seven and a half miles, have an easy day, but now we've gotta go three and a half further. So luckily I'm feeling pretty good. I don't really mind. It's uh, I don't know, like 7.40 p.m. So probably won't get to camp until uh, 8.40 or maybe closer to nine. So kind of a late one, but that just means less miles I have to do in the future. Anyways, it's nice and cool evening and I'm in a national park. morning. I smashed that cinnamon roll. It was so good, but I kind of have a stomach ache. <laughs> um, the seam, let me see if I can get a view here. The seam in my shoulder has exploded. I also have a big tear in my arm sleeve. That's from, uh, branches and overgrown trail just pulling at it so those are getting really big I've got to try and stitch them up if I can find some time I do have a sewing kit this shirt is falling apart <clears throat> um, other than that I've got a gentle uphill slope for the next 15 miles. And then it will change and go downhill for a little bit. Anyways, whew, walking on. I'd be remiss not to mention that modern pit toilet. Wow, just wow. Washington really excels in the outdoor alfresco type of toileting. So impressive. I've been walking for almost four months now. And today was the first time I had a ranger check my permit. Crazy. I had nothing to worry about because my permit is perfectly fine. But uh, man, sure took a long time. Finally, I get a little recognition. Uh, he was super nice. And he let us know that there's multiple fires burning in the area. Um, but the one that was pretty close to trail um, sounds like it's controlled now and nothing to worry about. Uh, there is a part of the highway that's closed still. But there's still a lot of cars coming through. So, I don't really know what the issue is. Anyways, some good news. And I'm only 60 miles from Canada.
been on and off raining all afternoon. Very Washington-like. I'm pretty chilled and cold. Eh, not that cold, but just I just feel wet all the way through. And uh, these are the days where I just really crave a hot bath. <laughs> Uh, it's like 4 p.m. drizzling a little and uh, I've got about six miles to camp it's a 25 ish mile day and uh, very much look forward to just getting in the tent putting on all my warm dry clothes and just cozying up was really cool going up and over Cutthroat Pass today. Uh, amazing views of uh, valleys on both sides. And it was really cool seeing the clouds and the fog kind of sweep in, sweep out. And the uh, landscape was just constantly changing today. So it's a rainy day, but it is beautiful. I'm enjoying it. I like it. I am feeling a little bit stiff, but overall, just loving it, I'm trying to take it all in. I was just attacked by an animal. <laughs> I'd like to report <laughs> an attack. I don't know what this thing was. It was, it was kind of like a squirrel. It would have had to have been a really big squirrel. But the thing is, I didn't see like a bushy tail following it. I know that there's like these kind of ferret weasel type critters out here. I think they're called martens. Um, but I don't know if those are like a dark brown, almost black color. I thought those were kind of reddish. Anyways, I'm just walking, minding my own business. And this thing, comes flying out of the bushes and starts running directly at me up the trail. And, you know, at first I thought it was a squirrel. I was like, oh, the squirrel's surely gonna see me and then just stop and run in a different direction. But then it went past the point of no return. I was like, oh my God, this thing is charging me. And it was, it was small, so I didn't wanna like defend myself. I could have kicked it but this thing ran and slammed into my feet, does a circle around my leg, goes between my legs, and then bolts back into the bush where it came from. And it was, it was big and it was kind of long. What the heck? I just wish I could explain the sound that I made when it happened. <laughs> I, it was like kind of a squeal. <laughs> But I, I don't even know in my mind what it sounded like, but it was such like a, a gut. <laughs> it, just, it just flew out of me. morning. Today is like Christmas Eve because tomorrow I will get to the northern terminus of the Pacific Crest Trail. Magic is in the air. I know I got a good amount of miles to finish up still, but I'm going to ignore that for these next couple days because I've still walked nearly 2,000 miles to get here and I have earned the hell out of this. I've been dreaming of this for years. 
and I'm so excited. <sighs> Over these past few days, every now and then, I'll just kind of be daydreaming about this and thinking back on what I've done to get here. Oh, I'll just get hit with a wave of emotion and just start tearing up. So, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna go. And I'm really gonna enjoy every moment of this. just had lunch at Hearts Pass and uh, Hearts Pass is 30 miles from the Canadian border and as soon as I tag the border we'll be turning around and coming back to Hearts Pass and from there we will begin our next adventure of trying to get to Seattle don't know how that's gonna go <laughs> But it'll work, we'll get there. Anyways, so excited, so beautiful out here. And we're getting so close. going to Canada. 17 miles. Let's go. About half a mile back, we got to Woody Pass which is 11 miles from the border. Stop there, I set up my tent, and I put my sleeping bag, sleeping pad, um, all non-essential items um, that I don't need right now, just to drop weight. I left my bear can there, filled with tomorrow's food. And um, so I am super light right now, and I can hike really fast. And uh, it's final push to the border. We're gonna go there, have lunch, hang out, celebrate, and then come back to Woody Pass, where we left all of our stuff. Probably camp the night there, then tomorrow morning, get back to Hearts Pass, and uh, try to get to Seattle. Three 
miles. Two miles. Just one more mile. I have so many thoughts and so many feelings streaming through me right now, but I'm not going to really say anything. This just feels like a dream. Nearly four months, 2,000 miles. I'm just, I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah! Oh! Dude. Hugs! Hugs! Come on! Hugs! Fist Come bumps. on! What's up, Recon? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dude. You're an inspiration for sure, mate. <laughs> 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 what happened? Oh. Hey. Recon, you get a hug too, buddy. Everybody get a hug. Oh. You get a I can't believe that just happened. I've been dreaming about that moment for years. Wow, it was perfect. I think this is the best sunset walk I've had on my entire PCT walk so far. Stunning. I almost wish this was my last day on trail. Couldn't be a better day to finish. But lucky for me, I got a whole nother month to go. Gosh, today and yesterday has just been so special to me. My love for Washington is just swelling up inside of me. I don't think that I have ever 
experienced nature at such a deep level as this. It is just heavy out here. And this, this deep connection with nature that I've had has given me such an ultimate satisfaction with myself. And I just could not be happier out here. So grateful for these days. So grateful to walk through this state. Grateful for everything. So wonderful.